Problem 16.17 Numerical Methods The street Phelps model can be used to compute the dissolved oxygen concentration in a river below a point discharge of sewage shown in figure P16.16 .16, which is just a graph of the following equation where O is equal to dissolved oxygen concentration in milligrams per liter OS is equal to oxygen saturation concentration in milligrams per liter. T equals travel time. LO equals biochemical oxygen demand, BOD, concentration at the mixing point in milligrams per liter. KD equals the rate of decomposition of BOD, D to the negative 1. KS equals rate of selling of BOD D to the negative 1. KA equals reaeration rate D to the negative 1 and SB equals sediment oxygen demand milligrams per liter per day. As indicated in figure P16.17 equation P16.17 which is this equation all of this is just talking about this equation and its graph produces an oxygen sag that reaches a critical minimum level OC some travel time TC below that point discharge this point is also called the critical because it represents the location where biota that depends on oxygen like fish would be the most stressed determine the critical travel time and concentration given the following values. So basically we're just seeing where the fish have the least oxygen. So the problem gives us the equation for the amount of oxygen at a point in time or the oxygen saturation concentration in the water. Here are all the variables given to us by the problem. Here's a range in T due to time D. Here is the problem or the equation given to the by the problem. We reworked to work in MATLAB. This is how we plot it up. And so simply for this problem we have to find the lower extrema or the lowest point. So I decided to use a uh, search method, the golden section search method. I simply switched it it's comparison values from greater than to less than because we're looking for the lowest point not the highest point. Here's our golden ratio that we use for the golden section search and the equations that help us set up the golden section search. Here's a plot of what golden section search will look like when it's set up. Here's the conditions. And then we plot the final plot which shows the search estimating the extrema that we're looking for. So we can run that up. So here's the first plot which shows us the golden section search and how it sets up its points, lower bound, upper bound, and its next approximate points, one and two, approximating that lowest point of the function. Let's get rid of that one. 
and then we have it actually approximating our minimum value that we're looking for and so our search finds for us that at 3.5833 time we're at negative 18.0722 for our oxygen concentration in the water and that's it for this problem 16.17 numerical methods